Let's move into main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Gary the Guy. (laughs) And Gary the Guy writes, Hello, John and Rob. One of the big topics that usually comes up when talking about the Batman is what is when does it happen? I believe you probably meant to write. When does it happen? Some people thought around the same time as the Joker movie. A new picture came out, though, that shows it happens in modern day. Does this surprise you? And do you think it's the right move to have it set today instead of in another decade? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, this has actually been one of those little areas, a little shadow in the corner of mystery surrounding the Batman movie, which has been, we've never really had a clear picture of when does this movie take place? What, what, in what time period does it happen? Is it an 80s set thing? Is it a 90s set thing? A lot of people speculating this is somehow going to be, or could it possibly be connected to Joaquin Phoenix's Joker? Maybe this is set when that little Bruce Wayne we saw is now like 15 years older, 20 years older. This is set in the late 90s or something like that. Maybe the early 2000s, whatever, what have you. Maybe it'll be around there. That's always been kept a little bit, you know, nebulous, if you will. They've kept that one a little bit under wraps. Well, apparently, it's not really under wraps anymore. Apparently, this thing happens in modern day. Now, this comes to us from an online journalist, Brandon Davis, who works over with comicbook.com. And he claims he was on set of the Batman in Chicago and got a shot of this thing that's part of the taxi cab labels, licensed taxi cab. 2019. Now, it's important to note that Brandon Davis is not one of these Gus's gas station movie reviews dot fart bloggers. He's actually like he does this. This is what he does. And if he's revealing this, I'll I'll take it. Uh, I'll, I'll give it its credit. I'll say, yeah, I, I believe this is absolutely real. So 2019, probably now stretched out in 2020, the Batman movie does indeed take place modern day. Interesting. Because, Rob, I think even though there hasn't been any definitive word that says this is going to take place in 1990 or 1995 or 2000 or whatever, I think a solid prevailing train of thought amongst a lot of people, and and I'll say I'll include myself in this, kind of assumed that this would indeed be set in a different decade. And, of course, for a lot of people, that meant if it was set in a different decade— that kept open the possibility that this is they're going to somehow say this is the younger version of the Ben Affleck Batman. This seems at least on the surface, Robin, and there could be holes to this that I'm missing out on. But to me, this sort of seems to put that absolutely to bed. This is not Ben Affleck's Batman. This is not a different age version of Ben's Batman. This is not in any way or shape or form connected to the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. This is, as they alluded to at DC Fandom, this is truly a standalone Batman within the multiverse that they have, but truly it's it's a standalone Batman. Rob, it does raise a lot of questions. Do you think moving and having this particular Batman story, Matt Reeves' Batman, being told in a modern context today 2019, 2020, 2022, by the time it comes out, whatever. But was this the right move? And what are some of the repercussions that you can think of, of it being in this particular time period instead of saying being in another? How do you see it? Well, when you're talking about time periods in the Batman universe, I would say, I would ask you, when does uh, Tim Burton's Batman take place? Where is that Gotham City designed by Anton first? You know, with all that crazy production design. Christopher Nolan's Batman movies, they don't really take place in Chicago. They take place in a fictional Gotham City. So any Batman movie takes place in some other time because it's not our world. It's 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 a it's a different world. So it's not like George Bush was president during the Nolan Batman movies. There was a different president. So I think that While the Batman film, it doesn't matter when it takes place, really, because if it's a standalone movie, as we've heard, and I suspect it is, like the Christopher Nolan Batman films, at least it's a standalone movie until they decide to have the Flash cross over into that realm and meet Batson. I think 
I think that these Batman movies can be any time. You know, I, I don't think our dates apply to their movies with one exception, and that would be the technology. Um, by setting something in 2019, I think they're saying that internet technology, cell phone technology, all of that technology is contemporary with ours. So, and even the super science that Batman might use is going to be similar to the present day. And I think that's a smart thing to do because if it was set in, say, the 30s, you know, you couldn't have cell phones. That wouldn't, I mean, I guess you could. You could make it more steampunk, but then it just distances, it distances the, the whole concept sort of from our reality. So I think this is kind of a compromise, maybe. Because if it was a standalone Batman movie, like, let's say it took place 20 years ago. Well, that's still the year 2000. You know, do they have to do they have to be worrying about uh, Y2K and all the computers dying like we did 20 years ago? It's really not that much different in terms of technology and 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 what was going on. I mean, other than the fact we didn't have HD TVs back in 2000. Mm. Here's another thing that comes up because I, I saw this batted around a little bit online. The other kind of repercussion of this, if you think about it. This is Batman who's just what did what did uh, Matt Reeves say? He's just in in his second year, right? He's just in his yeah. second year of being Batman. So this is a younger ish Batman set in modern times. One of the other things that I saw somebody online kind of point out w was an interesting thought. Say, like, well, I guess this rules out Robin because again, uh, some people start speculating now with the new Batman. Now with a brand new Batman, this opens the door for them to bring in a Robin. A lot of people have been wanting to see a Robin. I think bringing in a Robin is a dumb idea unless you heavily, heavily adapt it and kind of change the 11-year-old running around with a stick. If you want to adapt it and change that, age him up a bit, I'm good with it. But there were some people that thought this opens the door for a Robin. My assumption here, and I could be wrong, is that if this is indeed Batman in just his second year and he's Robert Pattinson's age and this happens today... That does kind of rule out that anytime soon we're going to get a Robin in this particular Batman iteration. Do you think that's still a door open or do you think this actually closes the door on that? What do you think? Uh, you know, I I think it probably does close the door on that. And, and to be honest, I think with these Batman movies, once you include Robin, like we've pointed out, you've pointed out a lot on the show, there's there's very problematic elements to the Batman mythos once Robin is brought in. I mean, it works better in comic book form. And of course, in the 66 Batman, it worked good because they were older. But if you have a Robin that's in his late, or Batman that's in his late 20s, and he's got some 13 or 12 or 11 or 10 year old kid coming in from the circus working with him, I think that's a little problematic in terms of what Batman's going to be doing on the streets of the mean streets of Gotham. Uh, I think it, it becomes a distraction. I mean, who's what what 29 year old guy? Let, I'm just assuming he's 29. What 29 year old guy is going to want to have to worry about a 10 year old when he's fighting crime on the streets? I mean, yeah, that's that's rough. I agree. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Uh, maybe you were one of the people who'd been assuming it was going to be a modern context one. Maybe you're one of those people who'd still been kind of wondering what period of time does it take place in? What do you see of the ramifications of this now that it seems to be put to rest? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.